you know, as you develop your passing game, you're going to want to be comfortable and confident and develop uh, your game and techniques to where you can have some of your go-to moves to pass on the feet and also on the knees, all right? The benefit of being on your feet is that you have a little more speed and uh, a lot of times it's easier to switch both directions and, uh, and get a lot of movement and angles from the feet, all right? When you're on your knees, you're lower, you're tighter, and you're heavier, all right? So you want to get a good of both. But when it comes to opening the guard, a, a lot of times the easiest way to open or the best way to open is going to be to stand, all right? Especially when you're inside a guard of someone of my frame, okay? Long, strong legs are going to be much more difficult to open uh, when you're on your knees because you're closer and it'd be easier for them to try to break you down. So you're going to want to get the confidence in standing and opening the guard. It's going to be very important, uh, especially when you end up against someone that's a lot longer, all right? So let's take a look at how to stand up properly and make sure that you guys understand how that works, okay? All right, so I start, same grips, good posture, just like we've already covered, okay? Now, I'm looking to stand, all right? I need to get myself uh, a grip on this sleeve here so I have a little more uh, stability and I know I'm not going to be quite as vulnerable whenever I stand. So before I go, I'm going to look for a grip uh, controlling his sleeve. So the hand that was down by his, his pants or his belt is going to find that arm, all right? And I'm going to control that arm there, okay? Now I know that when I step with my left foot, this hand isn't going to mess with me, all right? So since my left hand grabs his sleeve, my left foot's going to be the one that steps, all right? It's going to take that first step. So I'm going to post that leg up, okay? Now, as I start to build up, it's very important that I keep my posture straight and I, I kind of put myself almost like a, in a squat or deadlift position, okay? So my next step, as it comes up, I'm going to keep myself straight and try to avoid the tendency of leaning forward. Okay, and I'm just going to take my step straight up here. All right, now my knees are bent, my back is straight. I'm going to go all the way up, taking his sleeve with me. See how he's barely hanging on to his guard right now. His head's on the mat, his shoulders on the mat. Gravity's on my side. Once I start to push and shake that knee open, his guard's going to let go, and now I can set up whatever passing I want to look for next. Okay, let's go to the side so you guys can see my posture a little better and uh, understand what, I, what you don't want to do, okay? So I find the grip on the sleeve, okay? A lot of times the first step isn't a problem. It's the second step where people will have the tendency to lean forward a little bit to help them get up, and as I'm doing that, I'm very vulnerable to him pulling me and breaking me down because my weight went forward, all right? So it's important that as you're stepping, that you get to where you're sitting in this kind of chair position. Okay, and I'm strong here, and then I can go straight up, bringing the sleeve with me, and now open the guard fairly easily. Okay? <clears throat> All right? The next thing that I want to talk about here is uh, an understanding of what he's probably going to want to do. Okay? Whenever we hold this sleeve, it's very likely that he's going to make a cross grip on my sleeve. And this is going to be a technique that you're going to learn, the sweep that he's going to look for uh, later on when we get to yellow belt. Okay? And so, because I know that he's probably going to want to do this move, whenever I stand, I'm going to show you how we're going to break this grip to help make sure I don't fall victim to this sweep. Okay? So I'm here. I make my one, two. As I'm looking to straighten myself up, I'm going to push-pull my arm here to break that grip off my sleeve, okay? Now I can come straight up, doesn't have a grip, and I can open the guard once again just the same, okay? This will just help me make sure that he doesn't hit the technique that he's looking for. Once I break that grip, it's not going to be a problem, all right? So one more time, we're here, we'll say he grips my sleeve, not a problem. I'll do my one. Two, I'll stay in this kind of chair position, break the grip, raise up, open, and now I'm ready to pass, which we'll look at next. So, you know, technically, it is more work to stand, all right? Uh, you're going to have to fire off your legs, your glutes a little bit, and develop that strong posture, all right? 
which is why we drill the posture walk so much, all right? So you can get used to being in that sort of squat position, okay? Um, so like I said, it is a little more work, but many times it's the safest and best option, all right? Uh, for anyone that's six foot plus, you're probably going to need to stand to open that guard. So you're going to want to definitely work on this a lot and get the confidence to where you can stand and not be scared of getting swept.